What's up guys, it's your boy Chips Ahoy back at it again with a new video. Today I'm doing a different kind of video. Um, I don't know if you can tell by this down here, but I'm doing a cooking video today. Today we're going to make guacamole. So what you'll need is a cutting board, a knife, it does not have to be this big, <laughs> some tomatoes that I had pre-chopped up before this video, about two, three avocados, or however many you want, depending on the size of guacamole you're making. You'll need however many limes, it depends how much you want. You don't need a lime squeezer or you can just squeeze it in yourself. You do not need one of these. I'm using one just because it's old fashioned, I guess you could say. You can just use a bowl and a fork or a spoon, maybe even a knife, I don't know. Then you'll also need some salt and pepper. I'll be serving them in these. They're like mini versions of this. So, and I'm gonna, oh, and yeah, I'm gonna use this knife to cut the avocado out of this. Because this one's way too big to do that. I already used a little bit of avocado, but now I'm gonna use the other ones. But before I do that, let me, here, where should I put this? Let's just put that there. Or, always carry a napkin. You can put your knife on the napkin, or anywhere really. I'm putting mine on the napkin because it already has some avocado on it. So right here, get the bowl into the shot. All you need to do is get your cutting board with all the tomato on it and just scrape it into the bowl. And depending on the size or the quantity that you want, it depends how much tomato you want in it. You can use anywhere from one to a million if you want. It just depends. So I'm just going to move the cutting board over there. So move that there. Have the cutting board in the shot. Now I'm going to cut up this avocado. So all you need is your knife and you cut it straight down the middle, just like this. And you just rotate it and keep cutting. Now with that, it doesn't have to be the perfect cut, like right here, I messed up and it has this hanging off. It doesn't have to be the perfect cut, but what I like to do is just cut the avocado out around this and just get this thing out. We'll do that after. So now that I've cut it open with the big knife, it doesn't have to be a big knife, it can be just one small knife. I'm just going to cut the avocado up into little strips. Now they can be big strips or little strips, I don't really no, it depends on what you want. I'd, I'd say go for little strips because it's easier to mash up when you're actually making the guacamole. So now you just cut around the edges to loosen the avocado up. Then you just scoop it out of the shell or whatever you want to call it. I honestly don't know what it is. You scoop it out of the shell and dump it into your bowl or... I honestly don't remember what these are called, but I just call them a bowl. Alright, so... That's done. Now I can just put this on the napkin over there or I can just put it on the edge of the cutting board. It's right behind this avocado. Put it there. So, now that I've put one avocado in, I'm just going to do the other one. So I just cut it into little strips. 
and cut around the seed. So now I can just stick my finger in there and pull it out. I'm just going to put that there. So now I'm just going to keep cutting these up into little strips. it's ready to just this time I'm gonna use a spoon just scoop it right out the spoon is definitely better for scooping it just makes it a lot easier but if you want you can still use the knife So now I'm done with the first avocado. Let's just put that over there and put the seed right in it. Now, before I do the second avocado, I'm gonna do this half of the lime. All I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna use the lime squeezer and I am just gonna squeeze it in. Just try to mix it, or not mix, but kind of spread it around. Just shake it whilst it's coming out. Now with this, you should probably throw it in the trash can, which is what I'll do. And I'm going to bring my trash can right over here so that it's easier to access. We do not need these two parts of the shell or the seed inside, so you can just throw them right away into your trash can. So, from here... I'm going to cut this other avocado. I'm just going to set the knife right here. Let's move the napkin a little closer. Never mind. I'm just going to set the knife right there. Now with the big knife or small knife, depending on what you have, I'm just going to do the same thing I did earlier. And try to keep your hand on the avocado and get a good grip on it, but still try to keep your hand as far away from the knife as possible. You don't want any casualties because you don't want to stab yourself or cut yourself, one of the two. All right, so now I have my second one open. With the spoon, I'm just gonna kind of scoop around this. That's the better method. You don't need the avocado if it's stuck on there unless you want it but it's just a little extra work so I'd suggest just not doing it you have enough avocado as it is now just if you messed up just scoop the avocado off of this little thing now with this I'm gonna get my other knife or you can use the same knife for anything it does not really matter so this one, you just cut it into little strips. Then you are going to scoop it out and just put it into your bowl. So now just, I'm just going to throw that over there. And I'm going to cut the other half up. Alright. Now I'm just going to grab this and scoop it all out. And I'm just going to throw that half away. Now, this is the second to last part. All you got to do... No, it's the third to last part. Never mind. Is just squeeze that in there. Throw that away. And now I'm just going to set that down for a minute. 
Now with my salt, I'm just gonna drizzle it on top. Just a little bit. Now that that's done, you get your pepper. <laughs> Avocado on my hand. There you go. I'm just gonna drizzle. About this much should be good. I don't know if you can see that. And if you like yours with more salt or more pepper, just use more salt or more pepper. And now for the last step, all you gotta have to do is mash it around. And if anything falls out, just put it right back in. Unless it falls on the floor, then throw it away. So this is basically all you have to do. And from here, you just keep mashing it up. Just throw that back in there. And the more you smash it and mix it around, the smoother it's gonna be. So if you want yours like chunkier, then just don't like, mash it as much, but if you want yours smoother, then mash it more. Well, I'm pretty sure you get the idea, so it's basically ready, and that's going to be the end of today's video. Um, thank you for watching, and goodbye.